So you could also go with the elemental punches on the thing. I just went with this. This might get to a KO, dude. Oh, not even might. Like for sure. Is that offensive hip out on? How the fuck does it if he's max speed and kills me? If he's actually max speed hip out on and killed me here, oh my goodness. I'm staying in. I'm staying I'm I'm not going anywhere, dude. If you're max speed, well played. Well played. Hey guys, it's Gator and we're back on showdown for some more showdown live action. Gonna be hitting up that OU, uh, the ladder suspect thing for Metagross did end. So we don't have that many points, but I mean, low ladder is the most dangerous part of the ladder anyway. So it should just be, it should be challenging enough basically. We'll, we'll get some, some good battles. But before that, uh, so yeah, the suspect thing did end and uh, Mega Metagross is gone. So I decided to use a regular <laughs> Metagross. We got the Agility Steel EMZ. Now with some chip damage, we can just bust through stuff like Landris and Zygarde and stuff like that. Of course, I can use Ice Punch, but I wanted to use Stab. But you know, just in case you flinch stuff and Earthquake, because I don't really have a good way of dealing with Heatran right off the bat. So you can also go Elemental Punch, but it is significantly weaker because it's not it's not a Mega Metagross, right? It's not a Mega Metagross. And speaking of Mega Metagross, like, um, oh, where is it? Do I have tabs to open by any chance? There it is. Uh, you know, I clicked on Joey's video. I was looking at some of these comments recently. I was actually really disgusted by some of these. Who is this? Mega Metagross banned by some anger anger point peaks. Who, who is this? Let's go ahead and open that. Okay. Disclaimer: This video contains the character act in character mode acting out as a raging maniac. What? All right. Well, we're not gonna get into this. Is he not? He's not wearing a shirt. <laughs> We're not gonna get into that, but <laughs> all right. So the main reason uh, why I was a little little upset with uh, the people in the comments section of Joey's video, which I'm assuming like the comments section of Joey's video, you know, most of y'all playing on Showdown, right? But mostly, it's not like comment section of um. Also have the other where's the other tab? Oh, like a Velocify. No, it's not Velocify. The Velocify video open. You know, I'm a Velocify subscriber. Just just kidding. You see that? See, it's not it's not ticked. But um, wait, Moirai, small gun is so dumb. You can't predict some. Okay, well I saw so it's, it's basically this. I, I know who this is. I don't, I don't know if this is troll or not. I'm, this this just might be a troll comment, but there's some there's comments like this, right? Like this is this is obviously like sarcasm to an extent, right? Like everyone's voting like the band, like obviously being sarcastic, like like all that shit. I I hope I, I don't know. I don't know if you're being sarcastic. No, no, just like right, here we go. Yo, fuck this band. It's fucking stupid. Can you fucking people find a fucking way to beat it? Holy fuck! You know, like like people like this. Now. I don't, I don't know why he's so mad or like he just puts caps. Oh God, there's like 47 replies. Okay, whatever. Well, there's 700 set. Ooh, that's that's lucky. I should I should change that. I should. I, I can't ruin that. This, this, lucky day. 777 comments. But there's a whole bunch of people like just like upset for whatever the outcome is, right? And personally, I don't give a shit what the outcome is. And I play you know a good amount on Showdown, right? Now, like one of the main reasons why I'm not upset, and I think it's the reason like a lot of people are upset. Uh, the main reason I'm not upset because I didn't fucking vote. Like, look how many people voted. There's only 166 people that actually voted. And if you're not like one of the 62 people that says do not ban, I don't think you're you, you're in a position to get that upset to where you're spamming caps and leaving like a million replies to your damn comments and shit. Like, ho, like you fucking you stupid fuck. I don't like whatever this shit is, bro. Like, hell, I mean, at the end of the day, do whatever the fuck you want to do, right? Well, I'm just saying, like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> this is not the only person. It's just, like, a whole bunch of people, for one reason or another, just mad at the ban and stuff. Like, Smogon's a dictatorship, and they have, like, the final straw, and, like, whatever the fuck happens, like, they, they don't give any, like, chance for the community to decide on these bans. When that's, like, completely not it. What do you think the suspect test is for, you know? Like, I didn't try and get Rex or whatever for the Metagross ban, because I didn't really care one way or the other. But if you cared enough... I think you should try and get Rex. I don't care if you don't have enough time or you don't think you're good enough or you just thought it, it would go your way even if you didn't vote. Like who, bruh, you should have just tried to vote anyway. But if you were, if, if that guy, whoever that guy, I'm not like calling this dude out, but like it's just an example. Like it just happened to see his comment. If you ain't like one of these 160 whatever people or whatever it is, I don't think you're in position to talk, bro. I don't think you're in position. Now, of course, you can say whatever the fuck you want on the internet, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I don't give a shit. Uh, like, even when Greninja is going to get suspect tested, I still don't know if I'm going to try and get Rex myself because I really think Protean is going to get banned. You know, so I'm like one of those people. So you can say he's being kind of hypocritical. But at the end of the day, when if Greninja does get suspect tested and I don't, like, go for Rex, I'm not going to be mad with the outcome. 
because I didn't bother voting myself. You know, like something like that. I don't know. Just, just stop, stop being whatever, whatever. You do you. I'm sorry. Just had to get that off my chest because that was just that was just a little annoying. It made made me you know like because I, I like the Pokemon community. When I see shit like that, like can we all just like get along? Like small guns not like the end of the world. They're, they're not bad people. I like the dudes over at small gun. Like it's not like they're just saying we're just gonna ban this. Like the council says ban or this, this is unbanned or whatever. Like they don't do that. They let the people decide. The community basically decides. You have a way to decide. Anyone can do it. Anyone can vote. I think. If anyone can't vote, then never mind. But I'm pretty sure anyone who goes on suspect ladder and gets enough points can vote. So, this is what it is. All right, let's play now. So anyway, we got a whole bunch of choice mods. We got spectacles. We got scarves. We got more spectacles. We got bolt turn. And we got a metagross. Actually, this team. Not, I haven't played with it yet. It kind of looks like ass. All our damage is with the spec mods. Whatever. I was hoping to chip stuff down to beat his, the teams of metagross. We'll see. It's low ladder. But it actually, it sh I should be scared because it is low ladder. I should change my picture. Can I change it in time? Fuck. Because I was using the uh, shiny hunter picture. I, I was using that one anyway. Oh yeah, and the uh, wallpaper. It's from um, what is what is the English name of the wallpaper? Uh, the the something the world God only knows or the world only God knows or something. I just I just know it by the Japanese name. But, so. It's like Kami no Mi is how I know it by, but I don't I don't remember the English name. I think it's the world only God knows or something like that. All right, let's play. So you got oh Greninja. Speaking of Greninja, something <laughs> nice, 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 nice. So we do have the uh, spec zone, which is very nice for this. Unless it's Shed Shell, then it's really shit. Um, it's gonna be Landers. It's pretty fair against like most of his mods. So is Rotom. Rotom's very fair against a lot of his mods, but if he leaves Beedrill, that's gonna be. A little annoying. You can just U-turn out. So we'll just, we'll just go Landers. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The Greninja lead. The Greninja lead. Very nice. Very nice lead. But uh, I'm pretty sure Rotom's just switching. I hope. Because I don't know what's up. Fucking broken Mon. I don't know if he's Protean or if he's Battle Bond. He goes for Hydro Pump. And he is Life Orb. Looks to be Battle Bond. Could be Torrent. He could be Torrent. Can't can't count that Torrent out. Oh, yeah. We got Wave instead of will o -Wisp Because, um... Yeah, I'm trying to paralyze stuff so Metagross can actually do something. <laughs> so, we're just going to Volt Switch. Yeah, so he's going for the flinch on turn two. Is he going to get it? <sighs> he does not get it. Thank goodness. And we can pick this off with our Scarf Lele. We don't have priority anywhere else. Um, we reveal we're Scarf, but at this point, you know, I'm fine with that. Especially when um, this is his only resisted Psychic. I mean, he could switch and save it at 5%, but that's fine. It's at 5%. Like a Stealth Rock Up is dead. If he goes Matt, if he goes uh, Skarmory here, I might just stay in predicting the double back in the Greninja. I might just be that guy. Uh, I could go Hydreigon as like a mid ground. Okay. Ah, low ladder. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We got to get some points. We got to get some points back. We don't, I don't think we have any. Uh, let me see. Could we had like 1400 or something and suspect. Yeah, we, we had 1200 points right now. We ain't, we ain't looking too hot. We're not looking too But then again, you know. Uh, dangerous. There's always dangers down here. You never know what you're going to see. You might see another brick break plus four landers predicting my switch. You ju just might see it. We just might see it. Be nice 13%. Going to take some helmet damage. So unfortunately, Metagross won't be able to do much until this skarmory has gone. But like once it's gone, it can still do a lot of work. I think like regular Metagross is okay. It's not like super bad. I remember Metagross was like the shit. You know, back back in my day, in, like fourth gen. Uh, don't know what happened to the boy. Um, yeah, our switches to this are very limited. Especially since he has a Alolan Marowak in the back. Um, I think my best bet is actually to get damage off. I'm just going to click Earthquake. The Metagross should be able to 1v1 the Beedrill. He actually has Scald on his Feeny. I haven't seen a Feeny with Scald. Oh, I guess it's low ladder. Whatever. Uh, I can get some Stealth Rocks up and then go Lele and just kill him with a Psy Shock. If it kills. I, I don't actually know if it kills. can definitely go Magna Zone with that amount. So let's get the Stealth Rocks up. There's a Scald. All right, so we either go Lele. Lele probably has to kill. It's strong as fuck. It's too strong. If it doesn't kill, I regret this play, but I guess we'll find out. I could have calc it. Don't really feel like calcing it. That literally did negative damage. It did enough, though, to wear it to a KOs, and he doesn't really have a good switch in. You know what? <laughs> that did nowhere close to killing. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. He's not leftovers on this either. That is really bad. Let me go road him. Instead of Mag, because he might just be Shed Shell on this thing. Maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, Pain Split is my play here. Every time. I Pain Split every time. 
Unless he actually goes and sacks Feeney, then he's a god. Okay, he went hard Zergadry. Okay, didn't know that was a play, but okay. I think Magnus on walls. I hope Magnus on walls, because that's what I'm going into. You know, his Marowak doesn't even have to be Lightning Rod. It doesn't have to be Lightning Rod Marowak. Like, I could just I could just probably just, just Electric Attack and his Marowak will come in and die or something. <sighs> can't take that risk, though. Can't take that risk. We got Flash Cannon here. We got Flash Cannon. We got Flash Cannon to play. But yeah, there it is. There it is. To a KO. Do we have speed? We should outspeed because there's no one who runs Jolly Marowak. I just got a roll. I don't know what the roll. I'm calculating that. I'm gonna calc that. I'm not gonna sit here. Wait, 189. I speed tie with this. Come on! I, this is like the second time I speed tied with a adamant Marowak or any. I think the other one was Jolly Marowak a couple lives ago. Maybe that was last live. I don't remember. If he's adamant max speed, is a speed tie. And he's definitely, um, yeah, he's definitely uh, max speed. Dude, what the fuck? I thought I EV'd it to outspeed the shit. Can I change? 36. There. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I gotta switch. <laughs> I, I had to switch. I had to switch. I had to switch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we gotta get up out of there. I'm choice specs, though. And this thing's at 38%, so I just Dark Pulse and kill something. That's good. When's the last thing you see a high dragon on Dusan? Can't really do much in OU because there's fairy types on like every single team, but we're gonna make it do something. I don't even have flash cannon on it, I'm just showing no respect to any of the fairy types. I mean I have a Metagross, which you know, even if it's not Mega Metagross, still shits on fairy types. Um maybe not Feeny, because he has scald on his, but usually it can it can shit on Feeny. Even without Thunder Punch. I got the Stelium Z. Should do a hefty chunk to him. Uh the Skarmory's still around, which is really bad. He needs to make a move. Yeah, I, I think he's he's slowly realizing he doesn't have a switch in. All right, this should get to a KO. I'm um, specs. Oh, what? That did nothing. Holy shit! That did zero. Fuck it. Flinch his ass. Flinch. Flinch. Oh, he nature's madness. Did he? So he replaced. You think he put replaced the uh, moonblast for skull? And he, he just doesn't have moonblast. He has taunt as his last move. Just replace. So that's interesting if he did it that way. It's pretty interesting. Let's see if he tries to save it. Let's see if he pulls the uh, the classic low ladder play and saves his 10% mon. No, not going to do it today. Not going to do it. Okay. Didn't want to save 10% the sax on the mouse. I would have done that play every time, dude. Come on now. It's a good play. It's a good play. <sighs> I got to start streaming again, too. Uh, I was supposed to stream yesterday, but I ended up playing a puzzle game instead. Um, it's called the Talos Principle. I played it last year. And it's by far my favorite game of all time, and I have to replay it. And you might say, like, you can't replay a puzzle game, you just, you probably remember the puzzles. You, you really don't. You really don't remember the puzzles. Um, like, I play Portal, like, every year, because I don't remember damn puzzles. Well, I don't remember most of them. I'll probably remember, like, a couple iconic ones, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm about to do? Sack this? Probably. Probably just sack. Oh, psych? What? T I thought... Why would he bring that out if it's not Scar? Oh, what? Yo, let me let me kill this. Does this die? I wonder if this dies. Hydreigon ain't playing around. Oh, no death. No death. Whirlwind. Whirlwinded. Unfortunate. We can just Hydro Pump here. I can miss. There's no reason to actually Hydro Pump. Because I can just Hydro Pump the Marowak. Like, just, just let's get this out of here now. Let's just get this thing out of here. Yeah, that's, that's fine. We can just Hydro Pump now. Like, why well, make that play? And I outspeed. You see, 208? 207. 207. 208. Gone. No chance to outspeed unless you're Choice Scarf and Marowak. In that case, congratulations. So Metagross did nothing this whole entire game. <laughs> and I think I need to put Psych. I had Psych Shot for Chansey, because as you can see, Chansey is a huge ass problem when I have one, two, three, four special attackers. Um I just let's just roll switch. Shouldn't matter. You turned. We just go to Metagross and fuck him up. What a corkscrew crash him out of this game. Unless he presses X, of course. You know, having four special attackers and then there's a Chansey there is not, not too good. I could put Psyshock and... I guess I don't need HP Fire that much, but like... It's nice. I have a Magna Zone, so it's really not necessary. I'm going to put Psychic. Let's do that. Why can't I have both on the same thing? Type of lily busted. Alright, let's go. Metagross hasn't been out all day. Another thing about Metagross, I actually set up and live a lot of hits. Like, it's still bulky. 
Like Mega, sure, Mega Metagross is super bulky, but Metagross is still definitely bulky. Hit that boy, the Crasher. Okay, that wouldn't have killed. That wouldn't have even come close to killing me. Look, I'll calc that shit right now. I'll calc it right now. Let's see. No, no HP investment. Let's get another one. Yeah, no HP. And that was a B drill. Drill run. Went for a driller. Does about. Does about 60, 50 to 60 percent. No problem at all. No problem. This dude got hippo. Why he got a, just a six gen team with a stoutland? Why is that not an extra drill? Interesting team. It's a six gen, six gen team. Okay. Uh, Hippowdon could be somewhat problematic. Um, he has no. Uh, he has a fable. What am I talking about? I'm about to say he has no switch inside Dragon, but he has a fucking Clefable right there. That literally makes no sense. Um, I believe it, Lele. Try and just kill something right off the bat. He has a Bisharp, and my switch in the Bisharp is literally nothing. Not good. That, that's what we call not good. I'm going to leave Rotom just because it matches up well against everything except this. This is um, not, not a good matchup. Very, very not a good matchup. So, um, you could Thunderbolt, and then I'll take 5 million. But do I really want anything else to necessarily take a Thunderbolt? No, I'm just gonna volt switch. Oh, ah, uh, the low ladder is here. The low ladder is now. Very nice. Very good play. That was a very good play. Um, I can go Hydreigon. I, I hope so. The reason I'm going Hydreigon is I think he's gonna click Thunder Wave again. Now, if he clicks Thunder Wave and he's not Prankster, he's a genius. Like, he's just a genius. But I hope he just clicks it again and tries to paralyze me. Damn it. Damn it. See, this is why low ladder is dangerous. Like, I just I underestimated his skill. The underestimation there. Okay, okay. We got Magnezone here. Does see his double thunder wave on his team? Double thunder wave? Calm mind. We don't you don't do that in front of a Magnezone. So I'm gonna flash cannon your ass. You have no switch into this, thank goodness. So I guess Magnezone can help break down the stuff that's weak to or that's resistant to steel, and then Metagross can pick it off. And also Magnezone traps stuff like Scizor and Skarm and Celesteela, which helps the Metagross as well. Since we don't have Thunder Punch. So you could also go with the elemental punches on the thing. I just went with this. This might get to a KO, dude. Oh, not even might. Like, for sure. Is that offensive hip out on? How the fuck does it. If he's max speed and kills me. If he's actually max speed hip out on and killed me here. Oh my goodness. I'm staying in. I'm staying. I'm, I'm not going anywhere, dude. If you're max speed, well played. Well played. Like, I could calc it and see if you have no HP investment or something. Okay. Oh, oh. He probably predicted me to predict the max speed. I'm sorry that I'm a shit player. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna calc that. <laughs> but doesn't Hippo doesn't have good spadef, so that probably is max HP. Uh, I'm not analytic. I'm definitely okay. Just just making sure. Yeah, I had to make sure. He actually doesn't have. Okay, hold on. Let me take all this spadef. How much did I do? 84. 84 percent. So if he's no HP, Hippo on. Flash Cannon does 78 to 93%. He, I don't think he has EVs on his Pokemon. So I think I'm going to outspeed him here and kill him. Wait, what does Bisharp hit with min speed? Because his Apaldon literally doesn't have EVs. Or at least no HP EVs. So Bisharp min speed with no nature is slower. So I'm just going to Flash Cannon again. Ah, we don't get the roll though. We don't get the... Oh my god. <sighs> That's very unfortunate. That's just unfortunate. Okay, I'll make a god play here though. If he iron hands, I swear, dude. I swear, he could iron. Okay, good. He he made a good play. That was, that was a good play. I should I should have count. I did count. Hold on. Flash cannon should have done minimum fifty. Okay, so I should have known he had. So yeah, HP EVs on the Bisharp, or he was just assault vest or something. I, I don't know what's going on. Oh, that is too dangerous, bro. I don't I don't know what type of Bisharp. Maybe that was no EVs assault vest Bisharp. Is that a thing? If he was assault vest without any EVs, no. Nope. He can't be assault vest. Could not have been assault vest there. Uh, let's go into Rotom. Rotom. No, I should have went in the Tapu Lele. What? It just won the game. It basically just won the game. I guess he has a Stoutland, so it's not complete. The Stoutland even has speed? Well, there it is. I'm about to wave your bitch ass. Come here. Oh, shit. What's this? Breaking that Bliss? Break killing? Did nothing. It did nothing. Did absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm pretty sure he still has speed me. Since Paralysis got nerfed. So you go into Landers here. Try to get some Stealth Rock up. Yeah, so if you didn't know, uh, if you have Sand Rush, you don't take Sand Damage. I didn't know that till very recently. Because, like, the only Sand Rush mon I see is Extra Jolt, which doesn't take Sand Damage anyway. Just a little tidbit of information. Just a little bit of 
Uh, we don't even have to get Stealth Rock up. This game was just U-turn. Very nice. We don't want this Thunder is causing problems. Go straight into Tapu Lele. Uh, he could wave me, right? Because he's floating. Can, can Is that how it works? Is that how that works? Pretty sure he can Thunder Wave. Who? What? Uh, can he? No, he can't. He can't, right? It's just because Psychic Surge means like what? You're not the Pokemon, the mods that are grounded aren't affected by priority. Is that how it works? Or is it the mods that are floating can't do priority stuff? We could just, we could just click it. Like I'm sure 90% of y'all know, but we're just going to click it and we're going to follow it. I can't, just going to look it up. Just going to look it up myself. Just going to look it up. Oh my God. Just click the move, dude. Just click, just click it. Come on, dude. Psychic Terrain. Alexam, probably just Psychic this. Probably just like 5 million. Trace my surge. Go ahead, trace surge. Trace surge. That's not too KOing, really. Why did you? Why is his doing five million? Mine's doing not nothing. That's not good. All right, so we need this Pokemon. Well, we don't actually, but I mean, there's way better things to keep around. So we'll just sack like the Rotom, which does nothing. Literally does nothing. Uh, if the Pokemon, Pokemon. It prevents affected Pokemon from being hit by moves with increased priority. Okay, so my top, so I cannot get paralyzed, right? Because it, the terrain has the falling effect on Pokemon that are on the ground. So the, the Lele was on the ground, and it says I can't be hit by moves with increased priority. So I think I think we had that correct. I'm gonna try and set up with this. I do outspeed. After an agility here, go to four or six or something. We go, we go up. We get some speed. That did a lot. 438, we got four something. Four, what, what we got? 466. Go for a uh, meteor mash. I hope we connect. Even though I I don't have to save the court screw crash for anything. So I'm just going to click it so I don't miss. Yeah. <laughs> see, Mega Metagross can't do that. You ever see a Mega Metagross do that? No, you haven't. You literally have not seen that. Unless, uh, I guess you could have. I don't know how that's possible though. All right, so if I miss this, do I lose? Probably. I mean, his opponent has no EVs anyway. I probably could have Earthquake and killed him. Look, look at regular Metagross coming in. Look at this. We're going we gonna to Paraflinch this bad boy. Go ahead and get Parrot or Really? Oh, or just tank. Just tank. Dude, you see this? Mega Metagross is a tank, bro. He's a tank. Did nothing. He can live anything. He lives Stalin's Fire Fang, Lander's Earthquake, Zygarde Thousand Arrows. We live in everything, dude. Living. And he's gone. He's gone. Doesn't want me to kill his Clefable. That's his prize possession. Very understandable prize possession. Yes, my favorite. You get an instant muted. As a matter of fact, I'm probably gonna press X. Um, because he just I can't I can't touch the the yeah, I can't touch anything. Well, as long as he doesn't go Necrozma, it doesn't matter. But the thing is he can just go Necrozma and then I will just lose. It's gonna be Hydreigon. If he goes if he goes uh ooh, what? Oh, this is the um, what is this? This is this is some, this is Focus Sash. Focus Sash, um, what glare? It's something. What the fuck is this? I forgot what this does. Why is why is it this Pokemon? There's a reason to use Dredagon instead of the other thing. Um, I don't remember that reason. So I just Dark Pulse trying to punch him. If he glares me, I, I really need this not glared to win the game. <laughs> oh, fuck it, just flinch his ass, please, please flinch him. All right, I'm just not, I'm not playing against that. That's one reason I don't play OU right there. Reason number one that I don't play OU. I've seen that team before. I just, I don't give a fuck enough to, to play against it because it's bullshit. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got T-Tar, we got Ezra Drill, uh, Tango, before I'm very nice team. Very nice team, very nice, very nice. Not, not Baton Pass. It's not Baton Pass, so I'm very happy. Uh, so you got Dragon, you turn out against most stuff. You turn out against that and that. Maybe not, because that might be Scarf. That. That, that, that. Oh yeah, you turn, you turn to play. You turn to play today. You turn it. I'm not gonna get angry like last time. I'm not gonna. Angry. I just see baton pass. He does some. I don't flinch him. I don't. I don't hacks the fuck out of him. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna press X. I don't care if, even if I can win the game. Just don't want to play against it. It's not fun. Not fun for me. All right. So this is the one mod I don't want to U-turn against because he could be scarf. Uh, and we got switch into this. We have kind kind of have. Well, Met Metagross is a great switch in initially. Thing is, I gonna have to make a double after, which I'm fine with doing. As he's the one to switch. Maybe predicting the Magnezone or something? I don't fucking know what that was. That was a god play. That, that was a good play. This uh, might be a Stealth Rock user. Might not be because he has a Tyranitar. 
Uh, I actually doubt this is a Stealth Rock user now that because he has the Tyranitar. <laughs> but this is fine. Let uh, me get some rocks up here. He's at minus one. He's actually gonna do 13% to me, thinking it's worth. I'm just gonna HP ice him. Oh. Okay, dude. That's not how you use your extra drill. See, you have. I don't. I don't know if you made this team. So you have a Mega Mawal plus an extra drill. And the whole idea is you use one to weaken the others. You know, checks and counters, and then you can do more damage with the other one. And you usually, you don't just throw your extra drill around like that. So um, you have to calm down. You have to calm down. Uh, I'm gonna U-turn to see if this is defensive or assault vest. If it's Rocky Helmet, like it's, it's worth taking the damage to you know to figure out the set. We do 25%. We see the Rocky Helmet, so we know he probably has a sleep powder, uh, and we don't really want our Metagross to go to sleep because that actually does a lot of work. Uh, if I can get an agility up, so you can definitely live an extra drills earthquake. Um, let's go to sleep potentially here. A Dragon? Do I need Magnezone? Magnezone is not that useful. We can't trap any of these steel type. Go mind his own in case he tries to go for a sleep powder. If he just goes for a HP ice, very nice, very nice with the ice, very nice. Still, I still think he has sleep powder on it, but he's just not. He's gonna flash cannon, and I crit him. Uh, okay, I don't know if that mattered if he's max defense, but then again, is is he max defense if my lander's U turn is doing twenty five percent? Is he just like spadef helmet or something? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. I'm gonna find out that's his thing though. I just want to see what he's working with. That's all I'm trying to see. I mean, we have a default switch into this. I'm trying to, just trying to see what he's working with real quick. 25%. Oh, that's actually max defense. Think of this dog shit. Uh, yeah, max defense. You turn to the 25. He just goes for that, and we just earthquake because he lost the Tangrowth, which was his only ground resist. Oh yeah, sack. Okay, so he really like his team's not even super weak to hazards, but he's willing to sack his drill to get off a of rapid spin. I guess drill still did like half to my landers. They could have done a lot more potentially, just like straight up killed it. Um, we have Metagross. Should still be a decent switch in to Lele. Um, I hope he might Shadow Ball. He hit him power some things that's super effective, and it doesn't even two hit KO. <laughs> uh, could just Meteor Mash. Why not? If he stays in and goes for that again, uh, we'll do some damage. Oh yeah, I'm just then headbutting because this isn't a psychic terrain, so this is gonna do a lot. Thank you for this terrain. That's why we got the lele, by the way. Just just in case that situation ever did pop up, just do some extra damage with the Zen headbutt, or just kill him with the Zen headbutt. <laughs> just straight up kill him with it. How fast is Mega Mall? Um, I don't actually know. 50 speed, that's it. So there's, there's no way he should outspeed me. And I'm, I'm hoping Corkscrew Crash will one shot a Mawal. Looking at it, oh, actually has a lot of defense. I didn't know that. Um, where are you? Adamant, Stelium, where's Meta, uh, Meteor Mesh? What? Oh, well, what the fuck? Why am I level 50? It should kill. No, no, wait. There is a low chance it kills. There's a low chance. He might just sucker punch too and not realize that terrain's up. I'm just gonna do it. It has a potential to kill. Actually, let's see. Let me. No, this calc is all fucked up. Can you just? It should kill. It should. If he's no HP, it should kill him. It sh he should die. I'm just gonna get the fucking move. I'm done. I'm done calcing. Fuck calcs. It, sh it should explode. It should just explode. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't. First, I put in Metagross and I saw Z and I clicked it, but it was some VGC set, so it put the Metagross level 50, and then I click on Mawal and it goes for, to some or ass Uber special tank set. Where it has like max HP. Like, no, I want Stelium Z adamant and I want his ball wall to have no HP investment. And then we see Corpse Crew Crash, 100% chance to kill. 100% chance there. 100%. Very nice. Very nice. Look at regular Metagross doing way more than a Mega Metagross I've ever done in my game. All right. Mainly because I barely use Mega Metagross, but whatever. Um, once again, Metagross has a decent matchup once we get some chip on the liners and we can trap the Scizor with the Magazone. You can just it can just sweep after agility. Um, I don't know how Haze works on clear body. Clear body. It says lowering, so I'm assuming it can. You can still haze it. Yeah. Um. Probably just see Hydreigon. Just you turn out. Or Rotom. Rotom is actually perfectly fine. 
Because if he leaves Lele, we have good switch into Lele with the Metagross and the Magnezone. And Rotom matches up well against everything that's not the Lele. Even Lele is a decent switch into Lele. It's not, it's not like the end of the world for bringing Lele on Lele. No. And then he also has to make a decision whether to click Moonblast or Psychic if he's choice. Because we got the Hydreigon right there. Nice team. I didn't even think about all this shit. I'm just, just mentioning it now. This is my first time ever playing with the team. Well, not exactly for like first time, meaning when I started the recording. Oh yeah, I don't have Lolois. <laughs> That's not good. This is not. It's Rockstar. There's no way. It's like, unless it's Rockstar and like Z Lando. Is, is this Megatar? I'm just gonna. My place is a Thunder Wave. Okay, fine. That's fine. Set up fodder. Oh, so far. I like how I like how this is the counter to Rotom because it actually is because it just takes no damage from anything. Um, T spikes affect one member on my team, which is also good. We get a free Volt Switch off here. If he goes Landers, oh, Hydro Pump is fine. It's do 33%, so we just do a little chip there, just a little chip. So we're gonna go Lele, and I'm gonna double into the Magnezone, Zone, hoping to catch the Scizor. It might not happen that way because um, he could also go T Tar. Actually, if he goes Magnezone, T. Uh, not Magnezone, Scizor, Titar, or Greninja. Magnezone matches up decently against all of them. And even if he Baneful Bunkers, I'm still in an okay position. Ah, we get the Scizor! That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully he's not faster. Hopefully he's not faster. Uh, we have a lot of speed on this. So we hope he's not faster and we can just knock him out with the Specs Hidden Power. Fire! There we go! Metagross is in the clear. We're in, we're in the clear. We're just gonna get some chip on this Landorus. Uh, he could go T-Tar now, Pursuit Me, or if he's Megatar, DD up. When's the Landers? How much? Let me. I want to see how much HP Fire does if he's offensive Landers, because it might be a good opportunity if he's like going to set up Stealth Rock to just do the damage now with this Pokemon. Um, I gotta. The fast, the slower I calc, the more he's gonna be inclined to click Earthquake, though. I feel like because HP Fire does a lot. I'm just gonna click it. He does go to Stealth Rock. This should do about 40% if he's offensive. Oh yeah, good damage. Very good damage. Very good. Definitely in range of um, Course Crew Crash. I actually might be in range of Meteor Mash since he's offensive. Uh, now we can go Rotom. Now we can do it. There was like very little chance of the Earthquake there when I have a Rotom right there. I, t I took a risk. It was a risk. It, it wasn't that bad of a risk though because like Magnezone kind of did his job. Um, but now Ma I'm switching because Magnezone is still useful as a secondary check to Tapu Lele. Oh, but we got the damage off. And he is 100% confirmed offensive with that hidden power damage. So I put in my Metagross set. Um, Meteor Mash should do minimum 56%. So we should kill it. And Earthquake's not... It has a very small chance to kill us if he's max attack adamant. Like a, it says 6.3% chance. Well, Stealth Rocks are up. So a little higher. Just a, a tiny bit higher. But, so that's, that's whatever. And if he's Jolly, he's not killing us anyway. So we're fine. We're fine here. Just goes for the earthquake. No problem. Probably see the. Should I have Volt Switch? Should I try and Volt Switch on him? Because we're probably going to see a switch in the Toxic Packs. If he stays in, I don't think I care too much. He SDs up in a Rotom Space. Is he Continental Crush? I don't need Rotom for anything else. So if he's going to go for a Z move, um, he can go for it. I don't even know if it's going to kill us, honestly. It probably will because it's just a Z move. That's fine. That's fine. Let me just go high drag on here and just start spamming Dark Pulse. Um, Rotom's only useful for the landers since the Rotom's gone. Not the Rotom, this is or is gone. Just knock that out. Crit didn't matter. Um, so it's fine. It, like the, I, I was willing to sack Magnezone and or Rotom to the landers because they, they're both like pretty much useless. Uh, Rotom's a little more useless since the Magnezone is like a secondary check to the, um, whatchamacallit, the Lele. He brings in a Lele now, though. I should just sack this. If he's not, if he's choice, I can find out if he's Scarf right now. And then if he goes for Moonblast, I guess I can't actually kill the Greninja with anything. Um, can Greninja win? I have a Scarf Lele. He can't win. It's gonna Dark Pulse. As we find out, he's Scarf and he misses the Focus Blast. Ah, very nice, very nice, very nice. And we're gonna take a hundred percent advantage of that. We're gonna go into our four times resist. Eh, do we need to? You just go Landers. Landers don't do shit. Yeah, none of my, like, all my physical checks do nothing for, anymore. Because he's Landers and Scizor are dead. Like, the T-Tar, I don't think is a problem. If it's DD-Tar, maybe. 
Uh, DDSR could be an issue if I let him Dragon Dance, but literally all my Pokemon can attack it. Uh, the only thing that can't is if I actually stay in and click Dark Pulse. So by spamming Dark Pulse, I could potentially lose the game if it's DD Tar. Um, so we're just going to switch here. We're going to be the ones to switch. He stayed in for Focus Blast. Uh, I don't care about Stealth Rock. I'm just going to Earthquake, hoping to catch the Greninja on switching, because if I could do damage to that, the game just ends. And honestly, any, I don't even think I, I, I don't even need Metagross to win the game at this point. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just over. Now he goes into Toxic Specs, though. She's still to a KO. Thank goodness Toxic Specs isn't that busted. Uh, we're just going to do it again. As long as he doesn't get two Dragon Dances up with that Tyranitar, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like, Scarf and Moonblast should be able to finish this up. Yeah. If he goes Gren here, I'd probably just stack the Landers. Maybe not the Landers. Probably the Mag. Well, now we know he's Scarf Lele. Hydreigon. It's definitely Hydreigon. Hydreigon definitely the sack. But there's also the fact that um, he might not click Ice Beam. If he does, that's still fine. As he goes for a Hydro Pump, and that boy is Life Orb, Battle Bond. Um, does Lele outspeed? Wait, how fast is Ash Greninja? <laughs> um, 399? Okay, it's not, never mind, it's not as fast as I thought. This, this outspeeds, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, we just U-turn here. As he actually switches in a T-Tar. I was not expecting him to switch. Why did that do nothing? I guess I have no attack, but still, like, god damn. Literally did nothing. Uh, should I try and just agility up now? Thing is, the psychic thing isn't up. So he could potentially go for crunch plus water shuriken. Landers is always just the best play. Just earthquake. I want to use the Metagross, but, like, it's not. It wasn't even, like, that needed. <laughs> At least I don't, I don't think it was. It can still do some. It can still, you know, take the Lele hit. Oh yeah. Oh, this is this is good too. This is. Oh yeah. Here we go. Wait. That. Never mind. That did nothing. Never mind. Oh no 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 no. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. Watch 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 watch. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make sure the Metagross does something. No 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 no. Fuck. I was gonna HPI. Let him kill me. Go into Metagross and agility. Oh my god. No. Come back. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Like I'm trying to make a point here that Metagross is still decent. Of course, it's no Mega Metagross. Like, come on, dude. Is this all you faggots play? Is this really it? This is all you guys can do is use this fucking trash. I know. I said I wasn't going to get mad. I am upset, though. Like, I'm actually upset. Like, I'm not even that high in the ladder. And this is all I'm facing. It's still this bullshit. Oh, my God. I'm not. I don't want to play against it. I don't want to. Like, if, if you want to watch me play, if you want someone to play against Baton Pass, go watch like Jam Bad or Blunder or something. That's that's not my channel. I don't like playing against garbage. When I mean garbage, I mean stuff that's obviously like not, <laughs> that has some balance issues. Like everyone knows Baton Pass is, you know, borderline, like just, just busted. So, uh, what's his Dark Resist? He got a type of feed. He's pretty good Dark Resist. Pretty good Dark Resist. We do have Earthquake on this. That's nice for the Heatran. Uh, we got to kill that Scizor. That's about it. Weaken the Shaman maybe a tiny bit. Not not too much to do actually. Um, kind of only a mag zone. Thing is he could have Earth Power on that Shaman, so maybe that's not the best idea. Probably just leave a Hydreigon, just U-turn. Oh boy. He wouldn't risk this, right? Should I just Draco? He has two steals and a fairy type. He also be Scarf. If he's Scarf, I would die. I would be the one to die. Do I have a good neutral switch into all of these? Mag zone's okay to all of them. If Magnezone dies here, really bad. So he stayed in. I went for a Dragon Claw. Um, I'm going to hope that he is Scarf, and that's why he did that. I'm going to Vol Switch out here. If he goes for Earth Power and I die, I think I lose. I'm not going to I don't really feel like scouting for it. I'm just going to click Vol Switch. Okay, he did switch. Good, 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 good. Some chip damage to that Shaman. Very nice chip. Good chip, good chip. Could go Lele and start clicking buttons right now if I wanted to just start spamming Psychic. Or I can go Hydreigon and just click U-turn. Which also seems fine. Uh, yeah. Because if his initial response is one of these, we can like find out his initial response to this. Uh, if he stays in and I'm faster, could be a little annoying. Depending on what he clicks. We'll just U-turn. I think I, I think I can go into one of my Steel types as we turn out to be faster. 
So he's max speed. We get a nice crit U-turn. Nice crit. And now we go Lele and we start clicking buttons. Now we start now we start psychicking. This is where you start. This is where it begins. This guy gone. It's fucking disgusting. Could it could have done stuff with Metagross. Alright, Metagross has done very little. It got like one like mini sweep off, and that's about it. Um if he goes in Heatran, that's where things become pretty annoying. Heatran's a big ass problem for this team. I do have that's why I also have Earthquake on this, but like it's lower. And if it's offensive, I die. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to die. All right, he actually went into it, and we did 30%. And I go, oh, we staying in. Do we stay in? Ah, oh, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it all. This is stealth rock user too, but this is definitely offensive as fuck. Oh shit, living. All right, he mad restored. He did, he didn't flash cannon. He might not have flash cannon. He might be a grassy MZ. That's good. That's my death drop. Uh, nice hacks. Nice hacks. No. Yeah. That's why we play Pokemon, right? We play Pokemon for the hacks because, like, we all understand, like, hacks happen. We can't can't get upset about it. It just happens, you know? Uh, I'm just going to psych it again. It is Scarf Karam. I don't think I give a shit. Yeah. Don't give, don't give, don't give uh, too much of a shit here. Keep clicking Psychic. U-turn. It's fine. So, it's, I, I think his Metagross is in range of Corkscrew Crash. Not Metagross. Why am I saying the wrong Pokemon so much today? I'm, I don't know. I haven't slept in a while. Whatever. It's 1 in the morning right now. He actually went into this. Huh. We're gonna go into Landorus and I'm gonna double into um into the meta the Magna Zone. I don't need the Magna Zone as much. Alright, I needed to see if he had Ice Beam, because I'm he's physical scarf, that doesn't mean he can't have Ice Beam. Uh Shaman's low. He's still Volt Switch. Volt Switch is still their play. If he's gonna stay in predicting Volt Switch, that's actually like not good for him to stay in. That means I can go into Metagross and start doing some shit. What? That was like the one thing that could take a hit from it. You just gonna let it die? Now he doesn't have a Dark Pulse switch in. You go Hydreigon, we click Dark Pulse. Should kill. Nice. Um, he can't Roost. He can't rocks. If he goes Kiram, can I set up? I wonder if I can. I, I don't know if this is or die. Wasn't I calcing that? And then I stopped calcing it for some reason. Scizor. It's course, it's course we crash. It's not going to die. Of course we crash. That's not good. It does maximum 34%. That's so low. That does absolutely nothing. All right. We got to we gotta make some sacrifices here. So I need to keep the Magna Zone around because I can't kill the Scizor. Do I need the Hydreigon? Nah, Stark Pulse. Oh, never mind. That does nothing because the uh, the Misty Terrain. I think that's how Misty Terrain works. I mean, I already questioned Psychic Terrain earlier. We're, we're gonna replace Psychic with a uh, Misty and this fucking thing. Stop! Stop! Misty. I wanted to click Misty Terrain. I wanted to do Misty. M I S T Y. This is right. It prevents. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, the okay. Wait. This is rain. Right. Something. Something. Some, some. I thought it have the. It has the damage taken from dragon type moves by effective. Wait. Is it, regardless of whether user of the move is affected. Oh. Okay. It has the damage taken from dragon type moves by affected Pokemon, regardless of whether the user of the move is affected by Misty Terrain. So wait, what is, does that mean? If we're both floating, the damage is still halved. Is that what that's saying? Oh, I'm, I'm probably stupid. Oh well. Um, we have infinite switches and stuff. I'm just gonna go Landers because it's a good one. As he actually didn't even bother doubling. We should get some Stealth Rock up. So with Stealth Rock up, I can kill the Scizor. Without it, no, no chance, no chance. Oh shit! He brought it in. Please kill. Does this kill? I'm gonna calculate. If it doesn't kill, I'm U-turning. Come on, this is this a Landers, bro. I don't care if I'm defense. This is a fucking Landers. It's not killing. It's not killing. Where are you turning? It's not killing. It's not killing. Oh, we crit him. I wonder if I crit with the um other move. Ah, oh, fuck it. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know why he U-turned and not Roost. But you know what? That's fine. Because he's in range. He's in range of Metagross now. Especially with the rocks up. And that's his only way of removing hazards. And it's gone. So it comes in at 12%. It's dead to everything. It's dead to Earthquake. I don't even have to click Crash anymore. It's gone. 
No problem. No problem. Go. I'm killing this. I'm just attacking. I'm attacking. I am attacking. I'm not fucking around with this thing. No dragon dances today. Why do you say wait? Okay. Who's this? Who, who are you? What's up? What's up, dude? I'm giving, I'm giving him a happy face. I'm giving him a happy face. Yeah, you ain't no 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 kill 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 go go by go goodbye good night good night no 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 I told you I told you no dancing today we ain't dancing there ain't no party ain't no party you have in like I know you just realized you battling the base weeb himself no 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 you you ain't about to dance right now you ain't about to dance uh what was that Calkin? Oh yeah the earthquake uh it should be in range Yeah it's, it's in range it's in it's in range should die <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, this, see, where, where are the people like this? This, this, this is a bro. He like he says he's trash. I say y'all trash. We all understand that we're trash. That's all we got. We all can be trash. Ain't no problem. Uh, what are we doing? Flash cannon again. Flash, oh, we got healing wish. Very nice. Very nice healing wish. Okay, okay. Uh, is he getting healing wish to scissor? Cause that's. I mean, it's not. It's not a problem. Um, I, I just have to sack or like go Rotom and thunder wave him. If he healing which the Heatran doesn't matter. It's the Scizor that I just have to make sure I keep my mag zone. It's actually this. Um, which I don't care about. So what I'm actually going to do is go Hydreigon. Yeah, if he, hopefully, I mean, if he clicks Earth Power, it's good. If he doesn't, it's still good. Because then I just go into Metagross and sweep. Alright, now I think I can just sweep with the, the not Mega Metagross. We just agility up. We should have Speed Scarf Kira. No, we don't. We don't have Speed Scarf Kira, actually. <laughs> I'm not jolly. We don't have it does it doesn't one shot me with anything though, so that's fine. Um yeah, that's fine. Yeah, uh because I mean if I'm living Landorus's earthquake, I'm definitely living a scarf care and earth power. There's no way I can get swept by that. Where's the earthquake here? Knock that out. He goes care, I'm just gonna court screw crash the fuck out of it. Uh earth power should not kill. I don't even know earth power crit would kill me. Uh, we don't want to miss, so we, we crash this man. He has fusion bolt, bounces off. We hit that boy with the Z, the Crasher. Ooh, that's a beautiful animation. Beautiful animation. Uh, it should be GG. How long have you recorded? So we've been recording for almost 50 minutes. So this will be the last battle. Uh, thanks, friend. Happy face. Yeah, we we don't say GG to each other. This is a, this is a is Gator viewer. No GGs. Ain't no bullshit. Just, just X out. Move on, but that's what, that's what I'm talking about. You you could have incorporated a little bit of shit talk if you want to. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready always to you know spit some shit. You know, you talk some shit. That's, that's fine. It's fine. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, Metagross did a couple things. I mean, we always set it up to where Metagross could do stuff. You know, and that's what mattered. And then of course I bitched about people bitching. So <laughs> as well. But anyways, uh, that'll be on the video. Leave a like, comment. Be greatly appreciated. And let's get it out to you guys next time.